popular foods I ever served my kids. Hot dog stew. I know it sounds funny. You're going to laugh. Pause the program right here and write down these ingredients, which include some hot dogs, some regular sized franks or large ones, some peppers, some onions. And uh, we're going to either have rice, pasta, or potatoes, depending on your family's desire. You actually have the ability to put the hot dog stew over pasta, rice, or my favorite, which is mashed potatoes. Three differently colored peppers is always really nice, and you can add celery to it if you want to as well, as the ingredients showed. You know, this program does move along fairly quickly. That's so we could get as many recipes into the program as possible for you. Now, what we do is we take a large pot, and uh, we're showing you here that uh, we've already pre-cooked the pasta. It's just cooled off. It's already been cooked. I'm using the little wagon wheels there. I happen to like that. Uh, I also cooked uh, the mashed potatoes a little bit beforehand, put a little basil on the top so it looks kind of pretty. And um, that's my favorite, mashed potatoes. You want to chop up all of the vegetables, the onions, the peppers, the celery, and uh, the hot dogs, and have them all set to go. Now what I do is I season the pan. I always season the pan. And you'll notice here I'm using my hands, but my hands are clean. And I wash them off, and sometimes I like to get my hands right into the pot, as they say, and I don't use the paper towel at all. Next thing that I like to do is, uh, and this almost looks beautiful the way that it is, uh, you take your hot dogs. Remember, you can use either three or four of the big jumbo ones or uh, a package of the uh, smaller hot dogs. I use a combination of both. The large ones puff up to the size of a dollar and the small ones puff up to the size of a quarter. And the kids have different sizes there and it doesn't really affect the taste. Next thing I do, take a can of tomato sauce, dump it right in on top of the hot dogs. I use one smaller can of diced tomatoes, 14 ounces or whatever they come in uh, on top of that and then I put in about, well, about a cup of water. A tiny bit of pepper. If your kids don't like pepper, don't use it. If your kids don't like salt, don't use it. I happen to like just a little bit of each just to bring out the flavor in the uh, tomatoes in the mix with the hot dogs. There you go, there's your sauce. There's your basic sauce. And I like to stir that good. Now the reason I like to prepare it this way is to let the hot dogs kind of soak up the sauce as well. So they are sitting in the cold sauce right now, just stirred up and uh, staying moist. Next, take one of the larger fry pans and put it on the stove. And as I do as a repeated habit, can't emphasize enough how good this is for your cookware, making it last, and also for your general cooking. Just uh, put some oil on the pan, and then put a little bit more oil into the pan itself. Always set your heat on medium. What we're going to be doing is preparing that pan so that we can just braise a little bit, lightly cook the mixed vegetables that we cut up. Now remember, you know, you can leave things out. The kids don't like onions, don't put them in. The celery is a good substitute to have the consistency you want, or vice versa. You can add a little bit of garlic to it, too, if you like. That's my style of doing it for adults. Kids generally like food that is not too overly spiced. Now I'm going to put a little bit more oil on top of the components, peppers, different colors, celery, onion, and uh, stir it up a little bit. I'm going to get that on the medium heat, of course, and uh, we're going to let it cook a little bit. Let's put a cover on it. We have the first part of our hot dog stew ready to roll. It actually cooks much faster than you think. Next, take the pot, put it on the stove. And uh, stir up your vegetables. Don't burn them. It's hard to burn things if you keep the heat at the medium level, as I said before. And I, I happen to uh, cook these just right, just where they just started to cook, and then pour them in to the pot with the hot dog stew mix, the tomato sauce, and the hot dogs, and the onions, and the celery, and everything's going to blend all in together here and just be a, a wonderful, wonderful sauce. I've got to show you again. Look at that. Hmm, nothing sticks. Wonderful. And I turn off the front burner that I was cooking those on. And here we are just stirring away. You stir the, the 
food in so that everything mixes up. The sauces cover everything, as you can see it here. It uh, looks good. And I know some people laugh. They say, hot dogs, too. Well, you got to be out of your mind. What a crazy meal that sounds like. I haven't had one person, not ever, tell me, wow, this is really good, especially if you're a hot dog lover in any way. Use quality beef hot dogs, of course. That's what I use. Unless you uh, don't like beef, I suppose you can substitute for the chicken franks, but I, I like good quality beef hot dogs. You can uh, add a little bit more pepper on the top of this if you like to uh, season it up a little bit. Some people will put in a little basil or even a bay leaf for the little extra flavor, and then cover it. Next, set your heat on medium and leave it on the stove. When it's just about at a boiling point, take it off. And here is how you serve it. Right over the mashed potatoes. I like to take my mashed potatoes, make a little ring, and a little hole there in the middle. Uh, same thing with the pasta. This is an unbelievable meal. What a comfort food this is for the winter. And you can serve it with a couple of, I like, Portuguese rolls, which are sweet bread rolls. Or if you don't have them, you can get Hawaiian rolls. And that's all you need to serve a fantastic, delicious, comforting food you and your family. Hot dog stew, one of my favorites. Try it.